I did it. All right, guys, the contest video is now complete. I'm not gonna waste too much time with this intro. I reacted to it with my buddy, Zach, and then reacted to the final section on my own. The drawing which ended up coming in first was actually kind of funny for a, for a reason that you'll see. So yeah, sorry it was a little bit late. It was almost two months late, but honestly, that, that was two plus hours of footage that I had to edit down. And as you see, it's still 45 minutes. If there's anybody's name that I forgot to include in the video, please let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and make a pinned comment crediting you guys. Thank you everybody for participating. Take care, enjoy the video. Okay, so the first drawing here is by Ren. What are our thoughts about this drawing? I immediately noticed that they seem to be in love and I can tell this because of these hearts over here. What do you think? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I like the when characters like interact with each other. Like that's really cool. <laughs> and having like the... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't fucking run a YouTube channel. I was gonna like say that like I, I suck at having characters like leaning on one another. So like ha having like characters like interact with each other within the image is neat. All right, right on. Okay, good interaction for drawing one. What about drawing two? This one also has good interaction. Hello, so let's all it forms a heart. So romantic. That is very romantic. Question being, what is she wearing in this photo? We got a little bit of we got a little bit of definition over here. So I I, I have no idea. Oh, and this drawing is by Super. Okay, the next drawing is by Ghost. Actually, there are two drawings here by Ghost. I really like, I like these, uh, I like these shiny eyes. It's very good. It's not clear whether or not they're a couple, but it was tagged with contest, so. I do like the background details. Like, I don't know what's going on there, but it looks cool as hell. This drawing is by C. I think here we start to approach the more great romance, kind of like a zoomed in version of this other one down here. So this is pretty cool. Kind of a, kind That's of a good. JoJo art style here on this lady. Got those face planes on lock. You can see the underside of the chin and stuff. That takes skill. All right, then we got Dexy. I, I like this little, this little slew, of very kissy type images here. I like the lineless style. It's not something you see very often, but it looks really neat. Are, are they making you feel single yet? <laughs> <laughs> this drawing is by Lynn, and we do have a heart and heart in the eyes. I don't know what the nosebleed is for. Oh, you know, that is that is a trope in anime, isn't it? You see somebody you like and your nose starts bleeding. I'm trying to imagine that this is somebody looking into a chest cavity after they've caved a hole in someone's sternum. <laughs> There's the heart. I found it. Daniela, this has, again, cool background here. They seem to be in love. This is very, this is this is almost erotic with this many kisses at once. I like those halftones and stuff. It really makes it pop. Valkyria. <laughs> oh, yeah. they're, they're little creatures. I love it. Him. Let's uh let's keep going here. We got Ren again. I think this is the same person as the first one. This one's a little bit, I think this one's a little bit out of focus, but again, like nice composition with the characters, you know, they're kind of grasping each other. Like we saw them embracing as we were running past them really quickly. Okay, Cress. I'll, I'll go ahead and enlarge this one because that would be unfair if it was really small. And are you able to translate this for us? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny that she's giving the middle finger that. <laughs> That's silly. Yeah, it's true, it's true. We can only we can only wonder. All right. Obra means poor. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I'm feeling insulted. How got a, uh, how, how romantic. <laughs> yeah, I got a little class conflict going on here. Let's see. Then we got Colt. And this is a very Ooh. moody image. This this looks like it's from uh I, I, I forget what franchise. Wait a minute. This was apparently from inspired <laughs> inspired by Brokeback Mountain. Isn't that like oh. a? Uh, isn't that like? I thought I thought that was gay. Am I am I am I wrong? I it it, it is. I, I haven't seen the movie, um, but I, I like this the the surface lighting. It looks like there's like a campfire down there. So they've got the the Brokeback part of the mountain. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I guess that means this is probably a dude because I thought this was a lady when I first saw it. But I guess that probably means this is a, this is a guy. Then we got Nosh, and this is a nice. I put you know I thought the uh, the figure skating was a very nice touch. It wasn't quite clean enough to go in the next tier up, but like compositionally and thematically, big fan of figure skating. So. That's what's up. I like, th there's a lot I like about this one. I really like the pose. You can really tell that there's like space in between them while they're still moving and stuff. Like, it, it feels very 3D. Yeah, there's a lot of good motion there. Okay, then we got Isma, and this one has just excellent Look cleavage traditional. all around, very romantic. Um, all, all of the hands here were drawn, which is great, because some people are just not brave enough to draw all those hands. The uh, the only drawing so far that we know that 100% used glue stick. Yeah, 100% for sure. I mean, I don't know, could have used, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's right there, it's right there. Okay, then Miriam. I, I like this one. I like this one. It Response doesn't, really in nice. fact... This is this is an injustice. Why isn't this higher up? This one this one is really great. It's again in terms of the level of artistic um what do you want to say polish? It's not quite on the same level as some of the other ones, but this one definitely could be a tear up. I it's a it's I a full also, complete piece. I'm also realizing that the trees in the background are also painted as well. Yeah, that was and, just a picture for it. Yeah, in great composition. This one definitely could go higher up. In fact, you know what? I'm actually going to put this one. I'm going to put this one higher up. This is going to go. This is going to go way higher up actually. Let's put this. Here we go. I think we're on a 
fawn. And this one's pretty good. We got some, uh, we got some bunny things and some hearts and a bit of a smooch there. So that's pretty realistic. And drawn traditionally, which few were brave enough to do. So I like the hatching on it. The yeah. values are really neat. Sure. Then we got Moors here, another traditional, kind of a similar hatching sort of style here. All right. Let's check out Vinny here. We got some Call of Duty uh, gay romance going on here. Ghost is looking kind of shy. That's not really in character, but I guess that just says something about their romance. <laughs> so buff. I love it for him. Okay. Then we got Jade, another solid piece here. Had to deduct points for the happy trail, frankly. A little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of course, like the, but the flowers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I like all these pieces with the full backgrounds. In fact, that was actually a lot of what characterized the higher tier of artworks were the pieces that had like a really nicely integrated background. So, okay. Then we got this one here is by Layer 8. I'll put the actual artist's name on screen. I, I forgot to name this one. Sorry about that. Uh, and I think this is a really nice, a really nice piece. I think if this one had like a real nice lush background, I'm talking grass, this one would definitely be a little bit higher, but like the character art's very solid, so. I like the painterly stuff with that square brush that they're using for the fabric and the skin. It's very cool. All right, then we got Mirari here. This looks like, I think this was a Genshin yep. fan art? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. And as the resident Genshin expert, what is your what is your read on this piece? I like how Fischl is talking in this, uh, which is a reference to the fact that in the game she won't shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> I do like his face. Being chilling. <laughs> okay, this one is by Wild. Never too old to love. That's true. It is. It's wholesome. It's clean. It's wholesome. That's what's up. This one is by Pidge. And oh my gosh, this this is a uh, this one has a lot of a lot of atmosphere. I I feel it has it has a lot of story. Yeah, and in fact, you can see this guy here. He's making the move, and this guy is. You know, he's like uh, yes. And so you know, solid. Nonverbal communication go off. It's it's telling a story. He's like heart, and he's like. Art. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we got the CPU. And this is, I really like this again, because very nice posing here. Um, yeah, that's about it. Very nice posing, very nice shape language here throughout the character. Everything reads pretty well. Um, maybe the values could be worked on, but like that's all I could really think of. I think this is a pretty nice piece oh, overall. This is Borderlands 2 art, I didn't even realize. I like the, the fabric flowing off the body there. It creates some cool negative shapes. This one is by Hitori, and wait a minute. See, I, 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 know, th I, I know those guys. <laughs> see, I thought this was Gojo, but this kind of looks like a Chainsaw Man character. I'm guessing this these are, in fact, what's the show called again? Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen characters. Okay, very nice. Had to be at least one Gojo. We know this. Good for them. Okay, this one is by Mio, and I've got to say, um, this is actually one of my favorites, despite it being in a slightly lower category. It's one of my favorites just in terms of like nice style, nice story. I, there's a lot I really appreciate about it. There's a little bit of construction and proportion that could pull it together, but like this piece stylistically and compositionally, especially just like the values, the way that these eyes really draw attention. Whatever that brush you're using is, is really cool. Yeah. Do you recognize these characters? Are these like characters that you know from something? I, I do not, but I like the way they look. Robin. This cat looks very yeah. unsure, and so I don't know if I can support this one. Don't know what the <laughs> implication is. I'm guessing he just likes his pet. Love in all forms. We got Jade here. I believe this was supposed to be Aphrodite, the love goddess. And, you know, seductive pose. She looks like she's ready to love. Got a little bit of that glint in her eye, and also some of the eye is missing, but that's okay. It just adds to the story of the piece. Yeah, I dig this one. I like one. the body tattoos. It's cool. Okay, then we got Lavi. Like this is this is very wholesome. This one actually should also be in a higher tier. I should I should uh, I, I, I should have reviewed this first. I like how well the figures are put together. Like it feels very believable, especially like the fingers and stuff. That's just very cool. Yeah, and being able to use all this detail as well. I mean while maintaining readability, also very, very impressive. And we got Emma, and yeah, they're chilling. They got, oh, they got matching heart tattoos on their face or like stickers or something. That's cool. I like that. That's a nice little, a nice little touch. I like the way the lines are colored. It looks very uh, dynamic and cool. We got Mirth. 
with some characters and a cake. Now, I remember there was something about this drawing that was an extra detail about these people, but I forgot what it was. But they got a cake. It's got heart on it, um, a heart on it. Oh, maybe they were supposed to be like a poly trio or something. I think I think maybe that was it. Let's look at zero here and uh, here. This, uh, I see, I like this because this is relatable. You know, like if this was me, I'd be outside building a snowman. And then if this was my girl, she'd be inside drinking a cup of coffee and thinking about me because who wouldn't be, you know? I'm wholesome. All right. Then this one here, I think they're looking in a mirror. I think that's what that is. Ooh, this could be like the afterwards of a romance where you're seeing like memories of it and paintings on the wall. That's oh, why all the colors are drained out. That's depressing. There's a story going on here, whatever it is, even if I'm wrong about it. Wow. I, I, hadn't, I, I hadn't thought about it that way, but that might be it. Yeah, dang. Oh, and this one was by Plut Razor. Okay, then we got Josh. And Josh here has drawn a couple smooching. It's very romantic. For them. I, I like, like the, what do you call, rendering on the hair. Especially on the one, the figure on the left. Yeah, and the uh, the integration of the line work is good. The way that they uh, the lines have been, you know, nicely uh, colored. Uh, then we got Lana over here, and I really like the style of this one. This is a nice sort of classic anime style. They got some it drinks. Makes me like Nana. Yeah, it's really cool. The way that the there's no actual coloring kind of really works with the aesthetic of the drawing. I think. Yeah, I think it, so. It all kind of it fit, fits in towards the comp. We got Mihawk here, and I don't know. It's, look at this. I like these like these little lines, but they kind of look like speed lines. Looks like this dude's straight up just about to deck this other guy. He's just gonna slap him right right in the face. Storytelling, man. Storytelling. You know, they're blushing. There's an, there's there's a little bit of love in the air. Excellent. I love work. how the highlights look in the hair, even if it's not intentional with the marker being used. Yeah, I'm always very impressed when people can use marker to get convincing highlights like that. All right, we got Brianna, and this drawing is romantic. Also very stylish. I would say this is just a generally stylish sort of sort of drawing right here. It's got that MS paint look in a good way. I like the loose hairs on one of the figures really adds to the composition of the hair. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at this one by B... B Gecko, maybe? B G C K O. Sorry if I misspelled that. And uh, I think this is a, this is another very solid, wholesome one right here. Looks so jolly. I don't. I can't help but smile along. Hunter has drawn this one. Excellent job, Hunter. You're not subtle at all, but great drawing. <laughs> <laughs> the construction of the hands are also really, really good. Yeah, that's what's up. that that is true. Great shape design there on the hands. Great shape design and just overall composition, especially kind of around the faces here. Um, yeah, reads very well. Then we got Lizzie here. Oh, wow. This is this is burgeoning. So some of the some of the drawings were romantic, but also kind of burgeoning on erotic. So this is, I think, one of those. We got something a little bit erotic right here. She's kind of giving him a little bit of that tease. He's kind of grabbing her waist. You know, great drawing, great hatching, more traditional here. Always good to see. Almost Baroque. I feel like I'm looking at something in a museum. All right. This nice composition, nice color scheme comes to us by way of Claire. I like, the, I like how feathery the lines are. In I like when they take the, they, they do the line work and then they take these solid lines and they bring them outside of the line work. That's a nice touch. We saw that on that drawing a couple drawings ago as well. Also pause um, before we move on to the next one. Um, they look like, like their heads are on butt plugs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I straight up could not see anything else. <laughs> Thanks for the insight. <laughs> Okay. Okay. This one is by Soul. Very nice. Yeah. I got a little bit of got a little bit of story going on there. They both have a very serious expression. I dig this one. And look at how jacked this guy is, especially that, that arm over there on the on the far side. All right. Bianca hits us with the aquarium drawing. This is very nice. Did they draw that dead fish thing in the background too? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think so. It looks like it. This is a lot of attention to detail. This is a very Super high quality piece. Really pretty. Okay, Goose has hit us with this one, and it looks like they are feeling love, but they're separated. Maybe they're maybe they're long distance. I like how loose and uh, what do you call soft the coloring looks. It feels yeah. just as soft as the idea it's trying to portray. That is poetic. All right, Ziggy hitting us with the Tumblr art style here. Hey, nothing wrong with that. And uh, you got, well, they're making a heart. Everything reads clearly. You've drawn the hands well. Good clothing. What else What else could a person do? And it might be Hogwarts themed. Lines are really clean. I really like it. Especially with the, how the uh, white like, outside lines kind of complement the how sharp the black lines are on the outside. It feels very 
stickerish if you get my drift. All right, then we got Bingu. Oh, wow. And yeah, we got like a realistic rendering here. I want to say this was a portrait that this artist did of of a family member with their partner. The thing about the, the values is really convincing. Like this looks like a photo. Really, really good. Great job on this one, Bingu. Then we got Maddie here. These these have got to be characters from something. Look like kind of gives me has been hotel vibes. Yeah, it does, I, doesn't myself, it? I've not seen it myself. But great work with the colors and the value composition and everything. Looks really nice. Really like the lighting there, especially on that, that lady over there with the uh, with the with the rim lighting, the kind of soft glow. Waffles got these guys looking Those good. Folds are immaculate. Yeah, lots of attention to detail on the folds. The overall drawing quality very solid here. This one is by Gore, and you know there's a little bit of tension here. That's what makes this Do one. You know spicy. who these characters are from? No. <laughs> This is, this is Total Drama Island fan art. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. you love to see it. Well, it makes sense, My man Duncan and Courtney. All right, right on, right on. Great job there, Gore. <laughs> We got Smin. These guys are straight out of Demon Slayer. I don't know if they actually are, but it's got kind of that vibe. I like how thin the lines are. Got a little bit of storytelling going with the bat social battery going up and they hug their partner. That's what's up. We got Pixel. Look at this smooch. This is a this is a smug stance right here. This is somebody who's saying, Yeah, I know you're smooching me. Yeah, good drawing. Got a lot of got a lot uh, of story I'm, going on here. I'm totally engrossed in the storytelling you put forward with this. Totally works. <laughs> Quick, click away before Zach is too engrossed. Oh, all right, this one is by Veer, and this is nice. This is a this is a this is a great one to be at the top of the uh, at the top of the goaded romance tier. We got a couple of characters here. They're feeling romance. We got the purple hearts, the pink hearts. They're color coded. This helps the composition. The shapes are good. That rendering style on the hair is just really pretty. All right, so there was the first tier. We're gonna go to the second tier now, which is essentially just drawings that had a little bit more professionalism, as well as um, that, that that really had a very clear story to them. So we'll go ahead here. We'll look at the at, at this tier. This is a good drawing to kind of summarize this tier. Very you know, kind of clean drawing, uh, good composition, and uh, good story going on here. So Valentine's card here that someone drew for their boo. I really like how the, the heart in the center is establishing not only where the glow is coming from, but also where the shading is coming from as well. Yeah, it's very nice and it's warm. Right. This one is by Joseph. And these are probably characters that someone's going to recognize, but this is passionate, and this guy is shocked. Ran into the mistletoe, no less. Yeah, that's where it usually happens. Oh, and this uh, this one back here was by Thy Frog, by the way. Okay, so this one here is by Ace. Now, see, I don't know. This is a really big person, and this is a really small person. I have to. There are things I don't want to think about, but. <laughs> the piece itself, very, very romantic, nice composition. Patching is beautiful. Okay, May Rim. This I didn't notice the South Park in here till now, but we have like a we have like an anime character, then uh, then South Park, and it looks like oh, she's out there. Oh, wrong about that. Oh, you're so right about that. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is Kenny and his old outfit. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. And that was by May Rim, in case I didn't say. This one is by Zero. I don't know if it's a different Zero or the same Zero, but I think. Maybe a different zero? I'm not sure. But by zero, I think there are maybe three or four zeros even. Okay, and this is a nice one here. We got a full composition. We got different layers, different planes here, bush, people, background. I like the sense of perspective you get from how big the sky is. Like an anti perspective. It's cool. Nathan here. Got some glowy hearts. Umbrella. Character. Awesome. Little I little bit of romance. Expression. Good story here. She looks very tired. Parentheses romance. This one is by Bumney. And this is again, we have, this is a really, this is like a top tier drawing. This is good, like anatomy, execution. Um, this is a big hand, which makes me wonder, you know, is this a dude or is this a lady? I kind of think these are breasts down here, but also this hand is very big. I think it's a lady though. I'm going to, I'm going to guess just because the features are a little bit more, a little bit more delicate, but yeah, this is a good one. It's romantic borders on a little bit more erotic, but Solid drawing. Yeah, I was going to say, the construction on the hand is really cool. You can also, almost see like the tendons and the fingers and stuff. Awesome work there. This one is by Code Pink. And actually, there were surprisingly few furry pieces. But here we go. We got this one. They're cuddling. Um, I think it was a transparent image is why the, there's text in the background. That's just from Discord. Mm. I was going to say avant-garde choice for the background. <laughs> yeah, actually, it, it, this, this goes kind of hard. It does. Yeah. Then we got Eddie here and... They've been caught. She's been caught assaulting her boyfriend, smooching him too so many sure. times. Ah, oh, to be smooched too many times. Damn it. What a problem to have. 
Ah. <laughs> you sound so broken up about it. <laughs> this one here is by Tarl Ver. And um, this is really this is really nice. This is romantic. They're running. It's wholesome. They're having a good time. There are some lights. Yeah, this is a good drawing right here. The red glow is really pretty, especially with all the designs going on on the female outfit. All right, we got Chicken Nijoy. This is good. The clean sort of anime style here. They're in love. Are really cool. Very stylish. We got Bembe. And not to choose favorites. Like, I'm not a favorite choosing kind of guy. I didn't think this was a contest winner, but I will say this was my personal favorite drawing in terms of the construction and the vibe is just so nice and the color choice is so complimentary. This might be my personal favorite. Only maybe. I don't know. It is really pretty. Everything kind of goes in service of how good the composition is. And it's just, it's just clean as hell. Okay, we got light darks. And this is classic. We got a little arch framing our composition. We got we got a little bit of a we got a little bit of a you know he's kind of holding her under the rump right there. That's a classic move. Got Mr. Potato here. Um, this drawing is bad for your lungs, but other than that, great composition, good storytelling. But it's good for your heart. But it's good for your heart. All right. Then we got Shay, and they're resting up. They're getting a good night's sleep. No way, sleep. Philippines mentioned. Let's go. <laughs> Philipp oh, let's go. Okay. Get a little bit of character lore there. And I like these little portraits in the background. That's some nice attention to detail back there. We got Pep. I thought this oh, wow. was a very nice piece. Um, oh, wow. I didn't even notice the figure in the foreground. That's even cooler. Yeah, there was a story behind this one, and I forgot what exactly it was. Maybe these were two different people's OCs. I'm so sorry, Pep, if I butchered your story. We got Mochi here. I really like this one. It's a little bit more amateur than even some of the drawings in the first tier, but I just thought it was very wholesome, so it had to go. It had to go up here. Mom and Dad's first date. It's kind of pinned into the scrapbook with the flower. Then we got D. This is a solid cuddle. I'm always one for a solid cuddle. You can't can't fault that. It's a really well built built a leg too within the composition. It also like make mix the colors of the left figure go into the right side. That's really cool. Oh, this one was by D, by the way, and this one's by Dee Dee. They are looking a little bit scarred, but they love each other anyway. That's true love right there. You drew stars around my scars. Let's go. Wholesome image. That's what's up. I've never tried doing like uh, netting like that where the line art is brighter than the netting, but it looks really cool. Yeah, it's really I might nice have to try that in the future. It's a unique way of doing it. We got Mox here and I think this is Komi-san. Just kidding. I don't actually know that's the... I'm just making that up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a, a, another one here, kind of erotic. You know, this is intense. The card, the chocolates, the flowers. Got that halftone uh, blush going on. Oh, yeah. This is what's up. This is, this is a good one here. We got LSG. I like the chromatic aberration. I like the film grain. Gives it some atmosphere. Solid nosebleed. They're sharing something right here. Cherry. Could be. Very nice. I like the... What do you call... Where that you did the... What do you call texturing on the shirt? Then we got Shuddy. These look like, are these like, uh, no, I don't think they are Laura Olympus. It kind of has that sort of art style though. I like the color is very vibrant. This one is by Johnny. This is classic. This is, you know, Mr. Bond type stuff. He's got a lady smooching on him. You know, he knows his worth. That's what's up. That rendering around the eyes is really cool. Got Clover here. This is very romantic. There's a glowing heart. It lights them up. They're looking into each other's eyes. It's clean. It's romantic. I like that glow in the middle. It's very, very pretty. All right. We got Darren. Again, very romantic. And I don't, are very erotic. I don't actually know what the red is supposed to mean. Is it blush? But it kind of looks like it's dripping off of him. I don't I know. I they're okay. <laughs> yeah, as long as they're okay. We got Doge. This is a really just clean illustration, I've got to say. All right, we got Reina here. This is nice. This is a really, like, great lighting and color scheme here. This has... This has like Griffith looking at guts. You see that? I think this is uh, Madoka and Hamura from, from Madoka Magica, if I'm correct. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Okay. And this was by Reyna. Good then day. we got. Oh, sorry. What's up? I was gonna say good day for Sapphix. We got Gala over here. This is an, this is another sort of webtoons ish style that I could uh, that I could appreciate here. Kind of a manhwa inspired style, perhaps. This is this is very romantic. As long as he's not a werewolf. As long as he's not a werewolf. Yeah. Or maybe it's more spicy if he's a werewolf. We're not sure. We got Joy. This is a solid one. Kind of, you know, mother, daughter, I think. Not as much romantic, but definitely, you know, loving. Looks like she's been crying, but it, she's been cheered up by the person next to them. Yeah, there was about a paragraph worth of uh, story for this one, and I did read it. I did read it. I, I did appreciate it. Um, again, just too long to include in the video, but yeah, very nice. This one is by Faithfully. Oh, the last one was by Joy, by the way. This one's by Faithfully. 
and you know, nice little Valentine's piece. Very clean color work, lighting. It's really cute. We got Darumi, nice background. The way this is all integrated, the you know, the way that the camera is focused right in here towards the middle. Yeah, I was gonna say the field of focus is really cool. We got Mars here, and they're they're about to make a heart. It's very they're romantic. On their way. They're almost there. I love how goofy their expressions are. This guy is like, eh. And this person is trying to be goofy, but just does, hasn't quite put their heart into it. They're almost there. Yeah, it's a very half-hearted Valentine's. The Pikachu onesie, too. Yeah. <laughs> they did at least put effort into their fit. Let's keep going. We got Yosef. And uh, here, this is, a, this is a smooch with a little bit of a grab. Very romantic. Very, uh, very nice. Nice composition. I love how soft the glow feels. We got Jordy here. And this is a, this is Ooh. super clean. This is a super clean illustration. This is really nice. I really like how, like, shapey and... Uh, block, blocky the uh, Pokemon shapes are with like the Pidgeys and the Litten. Yeah. All of that lighting and stuff really, oh gosh, it's really cool. Yeah, top tier right here, top tier. We got Cotton, and I like this one. Um, these characters had a really dark backstory. Oh, feel okay. glad you don't have to hear about it. Great drawing, good story going on here. Um, this one here is by Another Zero, and this again kind of reminds me, this kind of reminds me of the ballroom from uh, Berserk, but I just relate everything to Berserk, so... What can I say? Um, yeah, very nice piece. Awesome composition, lighting. I really like the like the low opacity on the brush that they're using for the more intricate parts of the outfit. So you don't really lose focus on the more interesting parts. Like, yeah. oh gosh. And then how clean the faces are versus how uh, flowy the clothing is. All right, we got Twiz. This is nice. Another couple of animal characters here. So we're getting that, we're getting that furry representation. And my oh, good nice. friend Kenton, uh, can you identify who these characters are from? Um, is it? Because oh, I actually do know what this no. is from. Let me think. Well, they look like they ought to be Overwatch characters, but I don't think they are. I think, could it be from Kingdom Hearts? No. Oh. Uh, you got to deep, deep, dig deeper into your childhood. <laughs> uh, childhood. Um, is it like a, is it a show or a game? It is a game. <laughs> ah. This is, um, this is Skylanders fan art. Oh. Like, Skylander Spires Adventure. <laughs> here we have Layer 9. I'll put your name on screen. Sorry, I forgot to, uh, forgot to name the layer here. And uh, yeah, very nice uh, nice composition. Good anatomy. Good clothing. We're seeing a lot of attention to folding, to uh, to folds and clothes, which is which is, which is good to see because that's uh, that's challenging. So it's good that you guys are uh, putting an effort on that. These planes go free crazy, by the way. Yeah. Here we got Lily. Again, quite erotic. I mean, look at that. Look at that curvature back there. But oh, and look at the scaly hands. That's just straight up freaky actually. <laughs> but yeah, very nice composition though. This is this is probably yeah. in my in my top 5 in terms of the uh, pieces in this in this particular contest. I think this is a nice one. I like this. I, I do also really like the expressions on it. Yeah. Good storytelling. All right, we got Guz. Nice rendering. Wow. Quite realistic. Yeah, it's good. I don't, it's I'm not really sure what kind of brush you use, but those tones go really... We got McKay. This is a nice sort of Polaroid feel sort of moment. I was going to say that whatever filter they used on top really makes it look like a photo. Awesome. We got Joanna Draws. I think this is a, a blossoming romance is what this is. I like the, uh, what do you call, lined highlights that almost look like there's a window casting light on them. Yeah, it's true. That's it's cool. very good. We got Lugers here, and this is this is nice. They're eating some watermelon. I've done that before. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a human. I too have eaten watermelon. Uh, this drawing is I like yeah, the pastel look and everything. Yeah, yeah. All right, awesome. Here we got layer five. I'll put your name on screen. This is this is a nice one. I've actually been in this sort of, you know, environment before. You're at a museum. Someone's taking a photo of you, though. That's super romantic. Um, that's what's up. Again, with Nagito as well. <laughs> all of these aquarium drawings seem to go very hard. I agree. The blue light really does do a good glow on it. Yeah. Here we got Mia. And again, I think this is a blossoming romance. You can tell because they're a little bit far apart. You know, if she was already his woman, you know, he'd be scooted right up there arm around the waist, but uh, they're still kind of getting to know each other here, but it's going to happen for sure. I could be wrong, but I believe this is two Dangaropa drawings in a row. <laughs> oh, really? Good for them. Oh, let's go. Okay, yeah, here Dangaropa we got two and then Dangaropa. Here we got layer seven. Again, I'll put your name up on screen. Um, the beauty of a swan. Okay. Do we know these characters? I, I do not know them. Okay. Well, very cool. Got a, got, got a very bit of, pretty looking. Yeah. A, a Valentine's thing here. Very nice painting and rendering. Yeah. Awesome. Heck yeah. 
Here we got Cruy, and this is a very detail-oriented sort of piece, so gotta appreciate this. I like the style where it's sort of almost stippled with all these dots. It's very cool. And yeah, they're having a picnic, and that's every, that's definitely romance. Love the goth pink art style, especially those, uh, what do you call, boots, they're very well drawn. Love pancakes. Here we got, I believe, I think it's supposed to be Lilith, and uh, this is just very nice rendering. Again, a little bit erotic, very intense, kind of a vampire type feel. This guy's got horns. This is good though. This is this is good I art. I really like the how abstract the flowers or whatever that's supposed to be on the, the uh, right and left of the screen are drawn. It's almost like like streaks of paint that have been put on the canvas. Very pretty. Yeah, that's what's up. Here we got Luca, and this is nice. I I, I want to say that the theme here for this one was that one of the characters was immortal and one was mortal. So the classic mortal immortal tragedy. Um, yeah, nice piece. I like the white line art. Very unique. Yeah, I was just about to say that, and I like this. Uh, I like this lighting here on the cheek. As somebody who's been practicing my profile view illustration recently, that's spot on. Awesome. Okay, here we have uh, Sophia, and look at these guys. Awkward. There's a good story going on here. <laughs> have to appreciate this one. That's what's up. I like the lines. Very clean. Yeah, for sure. Here we got Jelly. Thinking about frogs, that's not cool. Oh, but he's wearing a frog hat. Oh, sorry. All right, we lost Zach, but that's good. We'll finish off the rest of this category for now. Here we have the frog. I was saying the frog might be a little bit, um, a little bit rude because obviously you know she's hanging out with him. Should be, you know, should be thinking about him. But it's okay. Some people really like their frogs. Awesome job there, Jelly. Let's look at Kale now. And this is probably, again, like top five just in terms of amazing rendering and uh, color work and composition here. I think it's very good. Look at the clothing. Yeah, this one, this is a very, this is a very impressive piece. This is a very stylish, impressive piece. I'll zoom out here so we can get the full picture. Awesome job. Here we have Cosmo. And uh, yeah, it's just a solid piece in terms of, you know, I like that uh, they're doing their romantic thing here. Got some pictures in the, uh, oh, sorry, that's just other Discord images. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just like this piece. I like the, I like the forms. I like the way that all these contours are working. Folds on the clothes. Yeah, it's all very nice. Here we got Josefa, and yeah, just clean, wholesome piece. A couple people goofing around, look like they're in a photo booth or something. Very nice. And here we have a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure piece. Excellent. Not sure who the skeleton should be, but this is definitely um, Dio, one would think, because you know you can see that little scar right there. So awesome rendering, awesome painting here, great lighting. And then last of this category, we have K. And you can see here, this person is inviting the other person to do something dangerous. Nothing more romantic than that. All right, and just again, like great painting of the background and everything, nice composition. That is what is up. Okay, I am now here on my own to do the final reactions. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get serious. You notice that we're blank right now. I'm about to pull up the first drawing in the goaded tier. The last three drawings will be the top three drawings and I will be announcing the winner at the end of this tier. So let's go ahead and let's get this show on the road. First of all, we have a couple of honorable mentions. This one is by Issa. So this drawing is obviously a storytelling masterpiece. It doesn't have the artistic qualities that would qualify it to be a winner, but look at this. So like, erm, um, and then we can see she has flowers, which is really sweet. And then if we look over here, nothing behind those eyes. He's completely blank, not a, not a single thought in that, in that cranium. Lost in space, he's completely zoned out. We're not sure if he's zoned out on her or just, I guess he's thinking of bananas. Hard to say. Either way, he got her some chocolate, so that makes up for it. Perfect. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. All right, <laughs> excellent drawing. This is this definitely gets an honorable mention. Thank you, Issa. Uh, this one here comes just by way of name will be on screen, and this is just really excellent. This obviously isn't Guts from Berserk, but it kind of looks like Guts from Berserk blindfolded, making out with near. Automata from 2B. So I think this is a really excellent drawing. I don't know who the second character actually is, but I think this drawing is really um, is really excellent. And I like, look at this. Homie's slipping her some tongue and she, she her mouth isn't even open. So amateur move, but excellent, excellent, excellent drawing. Thank you for this one. 
Okay, now into the goaded tier. Starting us off is Zen, and this is just very nice rendering. I mean, this is this is very this is very great. We've got a little bit of storytelling going on here as well. A little bit of romance, a little bit of sadness. This is an awesome one. This mostly gets up here for the rendering. It's just so detailed, so clean, so professional. You know, I don't think I could render hair like that. So that's what's up. Excellent job. Here we have Strableel. Strab Strableel. I think that's right. And what you might not notice about this one, so you're gonna look in the middle right here, and you're gonna see these see these guys, but look on the corner. They have a crowd, they're cheering them on. They set them up and they're cheering them on, and the, and, the, and, the, and the shooting star is even shaped like a heart, which I think is really wholesome. So this one definitely deserves to be in the goaded tier. This is a very goaded drawing right here, very much like this one. Let's go ahead and look at the next one. Here we have this one by D. And this is insanely impressive here in terms of the quality of the painting, um, assuming, of course, that it's not AI. I don't actually know how to check if it is or not. I don't want to throw that sort of poison into the well right there, um, but it has that kind of AI style. So if it's not AI, then I apologize for even bringing it up, but I will bring up that I didn't personally check. So if anybody checks and it is, I didn't personally check. Either way, D submitted this one and I think it has a I think it has a reasonable vibe. So someone will have to get back to me on whether or not this one's AI. Leave it in the comments. I'll pin your comment. Here we have Elaine. This one does not look like AI at all, um, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, we have a couple of characters here. This is very romantic. Got a little bit of humor going on here in the background. I mean, I think this is a very solid drawing. Lots of detail. There's clearly a lot of time spent on this one. So I think this is a very nice, very nice piece right here. This one is my Binta, and this is very cool. I like the way that the heart comes in. It scoops out a heart-shaped piece of her chest, and then it's right here. She's also got some walnuts or some pecans or something. That's a very romantic food. And just overall, the rendering style, it's all, it's, um, it's a very, it's very clean. It's very nice. Yeah, I like this one. Okay, here we have Castor. Keep this name in mind. It's gonna show up again. Excellent color work right here. Now, this might be kind of a petty sort of critique, is um, I feel like this guy should look a little happier. He should be kind of comforting, because look at this lady, man. Your lady's a little freaked out right now. She's a little chilly is what she is. We can see there's a little bit of a breeze. She's a little chilly. This guy needs to be smiling. He needs to be warming her up, comforting her. But he's not. He looks kind of depressed, kind of solemn. So I don't know if I get a super romantic vibe, but there's a lot that I really like about this one. So it's definitely in the goaded tier. Excellent painting, excellent color work. I like that one a lot. Here we have May, and oh my gosh, may I say, that is a lot of detail. Just just ever so much detail, full scenery. Really, what, what else can you say? It's just very excellent, very nice color work. Um, very advanced composition here. I think this character even has a tail. That's what's up. So, yeah, this is a very impressive drawing. I like I like everything about it. Awesome work. Here we have Corey, and this one's kind of sad. We need to just process this one for a moment. Yeah, not much to say about it. This one's real, super goaded, great storytelling. Really like the approach on this one. Unconventional, really great approach. Okay, here we have Maggie, and this is... This is very real, so, you know, furry, of course, but whatever, you know, we can tolerate that because it's so real. I mean, this is what it's like being in a relationship. This is, this is it. So that's facts. This is facts right here. This is good. We're going to roll with this one in the goaded tier. Thank you, Maggie. This is how I feel on a daily basis. Next up, we have Emily, and this is very romantic, a little bit erotic because the tatas are out. So, you know, excellent job here. I really like this impression that they're kind of laying in a grassy field um, with the bazoongas flopping. I think that's really good. I think this is a good piece, definitely in the goaded tier for sure. Next up, we have Alice. And this, is a, this, this one's similar to the furry one from before, where, whoops, whoops, this one, where, you know, we get that, we just get something that's just real and relatable. You know, this is, this is nice, this is real, this is relatable. I think that's a positive image. Thank you, Alice. Again, how I feel on a daily basis. 
Next, we have Julia. This is just a super clean piece of artwork, very professional. I'm sure Julia here gets a lot of commissions to do this sort of stuff. Um, this is very nice. And uh, yeah, I don't have anything anything negative I could possibly say about it. Well, there is one tiny thing, but it's so tiny, I would, I would never even mention it. It's really great, excellent drawing. Um, just, yeah, wholesome, wholesome. The next we have Etch, and this is actually the, um, we're gonna go into the top three after this one. So far, these have been in no particular order, I wanna stress. Here we have this one by Etch, and what I like about this is it's just so, so clean, so wholesome. You know, there are a couple, there's a little bit of blush going on, there's wind, nice detailing, feathers, look at the lace there on the arms. It's all very well executed, I think, and you know, even the lighting, so. This, this drawing is just a clean, um, a clean, a clean, nice piece. It, it looks, it would make a nice desktop uh, wallpaper, but I think maybe that's what kept it out of the top three for me, was for me, the top three had to be pieces that, you know, they, they, they couldn't be a, a desktop wallpaper. They would suck you in every time you looked at them. It'd be too distracting. That's the kind of piece that we're looking for. So this is a really nice piece nonetheless, though. Thank you, Etch. Let's go ahead and let's now look at the top three. Coming in, in third place, we have Zytek with this drawing. And this one, you know, just really great storytelling. I think it's relatable. I think these are really great vibes right here. Excellent vibes. Um, it's just a piece that, again, it just sucks you in. If you made this your, your, your desktop wallpaper, you wouldn't be able to just walk past it. You wouldn't be able to just minimize a window and move on. I mean, you would you have to look at this thing every time and just be in this be in this moment of this story. And you know, it's so specific. That's part of the thing. It's so specific. It's such a specific moment. So, the story is definitely up there. Um, this this piece is definitely up there. I like this one a lot. That's why it gets top three. This one just you know you can really connect with it. So excellent job there, Zytek. Number two, we have da, 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 drum roll, Caster again. But to me, this one this one has a has a has a has a more romantic vibe because we can see in this one that he seems to be actively um, consoling her. You know, she's a little sad, but I just I feel like the story reads very clearly here. It's nice, subtle color work, nice subtle value work. This one really could have been number one. I think it's very, um, I think it's very nice. I really like this one. Great fingernails, great colors. Yeah, this caster guy, he's going places. Okay, and then we have number one, and funnily enough, this was actually the very last submission posted. So many of you have probably actually seen this one in the Discord. It was the very last one posted. Like I say, kind of funny. If you go to that channel right now, it's just right there, but it's so good, you know? Um, it comes to us by way of B, who took their time, but that's because they were cooking up something really great. To me, this was my personal favorite, you know? Um, it just, it had the overall best vibes, it looked like a nice captured story moment. I thought that was really solid. You got the guy there, you got the lady there. I think that's perfect. And yeah, there's really nothing else that needs to be said about this one. It again, I think it has I think it has some of the best qualities of many of these different drawings. It has the story moment of this one, maybe not quite to the same level, but it has that sort of, you know, capturing your attention with story. And then it has some of the artistic professionalism of, say, a drawing like uh, this one right here. It ends up being the perfect blend of the two. So to me, I think this is, I think this really captures the spirit. I think this is a very good one. I'm going to say this one's going to take first place for this contest, but thank you to everybody who submitted. It was very fun to go back and look through all those submissions. I want to be clear. I looked at every single image posted in the channel and I read all of the captions. So I looked over them all, appreciated them all. They were all great. Thank you everybody for participating. I hope to be able to host another one soon. And um, yeah, all right. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.